What's up guys, today I'm going to show you within 2 minutes the best changes that you can make to stop Halo Infinite from crashing on PC. The first change that you want to make is to go to properties on your game in Steam. You want to disable the Steam overlay while in game. You want to go to local files and verify integrity of game files. You also want to go to Properties, Browse, Find Halo Infinite, the application for Halo Infinite. You want to go to Properties, you want to go to Compatibility, you want to disable full screen optimizations, you want to make sure that that is checked, and then you want to go to Change High DPI Settings, and you want to check Override High DPI Scaling Behavior, Scaling Performed By, and make sure that's set to Application. So you would go to Elclay, you would click Apply. I've already got these settings activated. You want to also check for Windows updates. So you can check that Windows is completely updated. And you also want to check your drivers and make sure that your game drivers are up to date. And you can check for drivers here within GeForce Experience if you're using an NVIDIA graphics card. Another change that you can make is by going to Properties and then going to DLC. And you can uninstall, you want to uncheck the box that says multiplayer high resolution textures. Um, if you uncheck this, it will uninstall it and you can go through that process and that's another change that you can make that should reduce the amount of crashes that you're experiencing. One of the best settings that you can change within the game settings to affect your crashes is to cap your FPS. So if you go to video, and you choose a minimum and a maximum frame rate, by default these will be set to unlocked and having unlocked frame rates can cause your computer to try extra hard to get as many frames as possible and it can cause crashes. So I would set your maximum frame rate to the refresh rate of your monitor and just set the minimum frame rate to something arbitrary. My friends and I made these changes and by making these changes we haven't experienced any crashes in hundreds of games. So I hope this helps you today and if it did help you leave a like on the video so that other people can get the same help.